What's up? Noah likes coke. Yeet. Yeet, my dog. Hey, Gungi, how are you, legend? How are you? Oh, let's not watch the commercial for champs. What's up, Showtime Chemo? Destroyer DOA, what up? Hopefully you guys all having a good Tuesday. Yes, indeedy. Um, where did... What's up, Big Show? Hey, Scon. Steven Randall. Don't say no, Yeet. That is rude, sir. That is rude, sir. I'm trying to get a screenshot. Uh, Road Tour looks like it's going to be pushed back to Thursday or Friday, but it's still coming. Thursday or Friday, but it's still coming. Mention set up here real quick, guys. Apologies. Ish. Do one more thing, and then I'll be back to chat. Apologies. Okay. Uh, good enough. Good enough. Okay. Uh, what's up from the sip? Germerica McLovin, how are you? Corn dog, how are you? You finish up in at the gym, destroyer? Right on. Um, let's see. Your day was good up until I got a underwhelming boss shop. I haven't looked at mine yet. I need to do that. Um let's see. Hey BGD, how are you, bud? Um 69 pounds down destroyer that's freaking amazing dude congrats mclevin how are you and sharn by the way uh pitchforks can come out but not in this stream because i have nothing to do with it so uh hey zandel how are you uh i'm doing all right bgd actually i'm doing really well What's up, JC? Well, this is the wrong uh, place to talk about the crappy MLC pacing, to be honest, um, because I have nothing to do with it. So you'll want to go to the forum. There are several posts on it. What's up, Concrete Man and Spider Guard? That just takes away from useful time uh, where we can do something useful during the stream. Uh, feud, I didn't play very much, Bill Anderson, because I was uh, on vacation. Uh, new road tour should be um, Thursday or Friday. Yep, yep. Hi, Kitsu. How are you? Oh, guess what, Kitsu? Since you're here, maybe you can hear this. That was the sound of me cracking a delicious Hawaiian shaved ice alani. No, raging isn't useful, nor will I have uh, respond to it today. Hi, Broken. How are you, buddy? Uh, because it doesn't do anything. Oh, thanks, Sandel. I'm super excited about that. I love you too, Broken. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what Sandel is referring to, I haven't really made any kind of public announcement. Um, yeah, new road to Refusion Network. Uh, I will, Kitsu. It's really good. Uh, have you tried the Cherry Limeade one, Kitsu? I really, really like it. Uh, you know how to run Regal for Boss Broken, but if you don't, yeah, sure. There's a couple different ways you could go about it. <sighs> um, so, some of you may or may not know, I do computer modding. Um, 
I did a Fallout radio mod um, a while back that recently NVIDIA tweeted about again because of the Fallout TV show. Anyway, long story short is I'll be doing a mod, a computer mod for NVIDIA for a wrestling celebrity. Um, pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's somebody you guys all would know. Um, and should be filming it, assuming I don't screw something up, the end of June, and I think the video will be sometime in August. <clears throat> so. Um, your faction should have informed you about uh, MLC points. Thanks, Gon. Appreciate that. Hey, Ben, how are you? What's up, Evo? How are you? Uh, looks like I need about 2k left. Yeah, it's going to be a custom build, Sandel. Right on, Ben. Hey, Telvin. It is going to be a custom build, um, for sure. What's up, Mike? How are you, bud? Hmm. I think I'm a few tickets short of one more run to max. That's awesome, Scon. That's really cool. <laughs> that would actually be cool, Destroyer. That would be cool. Not late at all. Nice. How are you? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Vader, though the graphic looks amazing. The mask. I'm. I definitely love the the. Let's see. Poster art. Got to remember what channel I'm on. Definitely love the poster art. What's up, Magic Man? Oh, we're getting busy in here so far. So, yeah, if you're just getting in here, new tours should be new road tours. Uh, probably not. Stock watch style, um, I don't think. Showtime chemo. So much changes so fast. Um, I don't mind another video. Personally, especially one that comes with the mask. Yeah, new road tours finally nice. Uh huh. That's gonna have six star silver opponents. What's up, Fino? Dude, definitely, definitely would like another, um, or like a Tiffy time. I love Tiffy time. Love Tiffy time. Muda, I did not get very close on. PBH. Hey, Wilpus, how are you? Uh, I think I'm like just shy of fifteen hundred Muda. I actually missed everyone except DDP this month. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so 75 from Becky, uh, 195 from Jade. Cross, right, Destroyer? Cross, I'm, what is that, uh, 290 from? Yeah, 290. Math is hard. Uh, Razar almost there. Actually, you could, I'll probably just recruit him today by one of the packs. Um, definitely not a pitchfork party. This is the wrong place to bring pitchforks to since I have nothing to do with it. I'll mention it again. The right place is the forum. So, not going to entertain anything to do with pitchforks. Uh, Muda, I'm right here. Yeah, just shy of 2k. Right on, Evo. Uh, Seth, I'm a long way away from. No, it doesn't. So, if you haven't been on a Tuesday stream, uh, it's about other stuff. Uh, not complaining. So, it, that just distracts from what I try to do on Tuesday streams. Mm, Tridents could be fun, uh, depending how they're directed. Right here, Zandel. I'm a blitz ticket away. Sporks are fun. They're dull. They hurt more. So I've said this before. I tend to 
Uh, usually it does. Nice. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that, but yeah, usually it does. Usually when we see new road tours, it gets really close to a new league. So yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Gina's here? If Gina's here, hi, Gina. Uh, but, you know, rusty spoons are good. And spoons in general, because they, they, they hurt more, right? So that's where I'm at, Zandel. Very close. I am so sorry, Gina. I would never intentionally ignore you. I would intentionally ignore Broken, though. Mm. Um, so... That feels bad. My favorite superstar, uh, Jen? That's a great question. Um, boy. Mm, my favorite one. That is such a good question. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Gina. I would never completely ignore you on purpose. Just broken, like I said. Yes, I have info on Showdown today. Uh, what's up, Hip? No, he really doesn't restate. Razar is really fun. Um, who's my favorite right now? Mm, probably Austin, apparently. Hey, Roman Sr., how are you, bud? <laughs> broken. Shut up. Broken, you ask me so questions. You're such a troll. Uh, Austin's definitely one. Um, boy, I'll tell you what, Ray with gears is super funny. Mm, thanks, thanks, Gina. Um, Ray with super gears is really fun. I've been enjoying that with his gear. I like Kyrie. Rhea's probably my favorite lady. I definitely like Kyrie a lot, though. Uh, she hits very hard. Um, I'd say those are prob. I like DDP a lot, actually. Um, I use Zombie Sammy all the time. Chelsea's super duper fun. Super duper fun. Uh, if I get Muda, he'd probably be up there. Actually, was a ton of fun. The Mist is really fun. He hits really hard. I enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, speaking of showdown, um, let me pull those screenshots up for you guys. I have some information about the the midweek event, um, somewhere. Yeah, brother, which one did I save it under? Muda. It's really not that slow. Actually, I don't think. Uh, male acrobats are also not that good. Uh, so, Mike, I was thinking about that, like, DDP, I think, there's a couple good ways to run him, but you can also, um, you, I know you have it, Mike, so this is why I'm mentioning it. Slap a Judgment Day plate on, and if you don't beat them, then, you know, just win next turn, right? But, you're right, Ben? Uh, I'm, I'm 525 away. Um, Zishan, big fan from India, right on. Well, welcome in. Appreciate that. Uh, oops, that's the wrong, let's not move that, that'll mess up the screen, let's move this. And if you haven't seen a roster dive, we're going to be doing one, I don't think Gumsy, Gumsy was queued next, I don't think he's here today. Um, so I'll be doing one with, uh, BGD, who is here. Um, there's also a fan voting going on that, um, I think I need to mention as part of my contractual obligation that does not involve me being paid in any way, shape, or form. If you're listening, Scopely, Furpo, uh, I do accept checks, money orders, PayPal, Venmo, um, pretty much you name it, you know. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, to mention things for cash. Um, but yeah, there's also fan voting up. So there you go. Uh, there's your CSS for the Master Manager Showdown Contest. Some of them. There's more. But there's some. Uh, win a match, World Champion League or higher. People probably want to screenshot this or something. Go ahead. Deal 500 damage with any SmackDown. 
Uh, th these are all lady tasks mostly, so I'm assuming it's uh, lady front, male second. I don't know if I know that or not. Uh, if the powers that be are listening, you could let me know. But I'm assuming lady first, male second based on this. But I could be wrong. Uh, we want the smoke superstar. I believe that's any street profit, right? The the newer ones though. Uh, win a match in Universal Champion League with Jade Cargill. Uh, deal 500 damage with LA Knight. So that's one of them. No, they don't do blogs on movies, Janasty. Oh, um, well, typically not, unless it's a really, really big one. You know. Uh, so yeah, let me get this gone. Hold on, do, 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 do. and then you pull the other one up. CSS two. I mean, I don't know. I just play them when they come up. I actually. <laughs> this maybe isn't the right thing to say, but I actually am not big on event blogs in general, uh, to be honest. I just play them when they come up and then use them to refer to if I need to. So here's some of the other tasks. Um, before you freak out, no, I can't do almost anything on Thursday either, so. Well, obviously, they know exactly how many people have them uh, hip, which is why they're on there. Because those would be bonus milestones. Yeah. No Seth, no CM Punk, no Indy, no Jade. So, I'm out on that one. I'm assuming you probably didn't bother reading the title of the MLC. Uh, M. Bod. I can't fix anything. I don't work for Scopely. And nothing is broken actually so yeah there is nothing to fix well broken's broken would it be smarter for me to go for two guys at once or stip to her or one at a time i'm not sure um i'm not sure i understand noah <laughs> clip yeah i'm not sure i understand noah uh if you try explaining again uh, i will do my best to answer your question oh uh shard wise i always found it best to focus on one at a time personally get one and then you can use him you know what i mean then you can start using him the one i went went for first was typically somebody that i think if i remember right this is a long time ago was somebody that i um well, the place, if you want Scopely to hear it, is the forum, not streams. That's what it's there for. Uh, hi, Kitty. How are you? Uh, how's your roster doing, Kitty? Have you got a chance to work on any of this stuff? Besides, I know uh, Wes's other build worked for you. So, yeah, I, I go for one first, get one at a time. <laughs> it's it's okay. Uh, you want to go to the forum. Donjay, could you throw a link to one of the things up if you're still here? That would be helpful if you can. I know there's a couple threads, whichever one is best. Ah, that's how we got you, Gina. <laughs> Thank you, Don J. Super appreciate it. Ah, uh, there you go, Brett. Uh, Hard is the lowest shard recruit promoter. That'd be a good place to start. Hey, baby ice, how are you? Um, there's one more thing. Uh, midweek contest is gonna have a moment in it, a new moment. It'll be in the contest. Do you guys want to see? uh what that moment is it looks pretty good would i take up devon uh instead of wesley without moment yes i believe i would restate yes i believe i would assuming you have a strap for devon that can be difficult thank you so much don j i will pin that there you go uh end of stream that's the only thing i need pinned today thank you very very much don j that's very much appreciated i don't have slow mode on do i, I didn't check uh, let me check. Slow mode on, I will turn it off. Okay, good, it's off. I forgot to check today. <laughs> well, some people want to see the moment. They're not always a thousand. I can guarantee you the NXT moment I got was not a thousand. Uh, there's also one thing you can't see, and that's 50% uh, gem defense. You also can't see that. Uh, yeah, Evo, I think, uh, assuming you have the plate and this, yes, right? 
Uh, also, no joke for Razar. Right? Um, I don't know that it helps Old Cross at all. Uh, what's up, uh, DJ Rusty? How are you? I think it definitely helps Cross as a mobile set. A little bit more. And it was kind of borderline with everything, I think, if I recall. Mm, blue moves is kind of interesting for Tez. I don't think it's enough, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, moment will be in tomorrow's event in Jobrim. Yes, sir. And it also has 50% gem defense as well. Hey, Jazz, how are you? Okay. Uh, so I think that's that. Um, there's also a trial blog I'll probably pull up later because I think it's still being somewhat worked on. But I mean, it's your standard trial. So, but I'll pull that up later. It's standard trial. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, the 100 shards. You guys know the drill by this point for Vader. Um, I I personally have always enjoyed the trials. Um, definitely would have really enjoyed it when I wasn't a content creator. Uh, what are you talking about, Jay Riddy? What are we letting ride? What is it you would like me to do? No, oh, yeah, I, I know what he means. I'm just being sure. I'm not assuming anything. What is it you'd like me to do? Okay. So you weren't, you were talking to chat then, not me? Oh, yeah, definitely will allow that. Dude, I don't know what chats you've been in. <laughs> I, I don't know what chats you've been in, Jay Riddy. I'm staying off Discord today because I, I feed off of energy, right? Like, I definitely feed off of... Uh, uh, energy and like I've had to stay off of discord because I, I like if I if people are always mad it makes me mad and then I don't have fun and if I don't have fun I don't want to play a game so yeah no uh not sure which discord you're on but it's not the same one as mine that's a fact which Bobby is on that moment uh hold on Evo I bring it back for you bud I think it's it's uh that's powerhouse right that looks like powerhouse to me Looks like powerhouse as far as I can tell. Uh, moment D Meyer is is this this midweek. I'm pretty sure it's powerhouse. I can make it a little bit bigger. You're probably on your phone, Evo. There's also a fifty percent uh, gem defense you don't see for feud. Also, Evo. To me, it looks like. Uh, mainly just uh big on cross and razar initially i mean it obviously won't hurt akum to 50 percent more purple gems but <clears throat> those look like the big two yeah i mean uh and the place to go is pinned at the top uh of chat that's where you go to the forum if you have an issue the forum can actually do something <laughs> unlike my streams which can do things but not anything to do really with the game uh, i'm not sure what you mean hip the boss stats are up um and it's uh yellow gems multiply gems and immobile gems uh personally to me it's a multiply yellow combo boss uh immobile is only 900 percent so that's that's a trap um boss is going to be about regal and regal and regal and regal again tech cody will do solid but yeah regal and did i mention regal mm, also regal 
Better question, why did Muda get audited to nuts? <laughs> that is a good question. Uh, Macho is similar to Cody, actually. Um, His multiply gems are going to... So Cody puts out like 15s, 14s, I think, for me. And Macho is actually less than that. So how does one run Regal? Oh, that's a great question, actually. I'd be happy to show you. I forgot to mention Regal. Ah, Regal. Uh, so the drip plate will not be affected, so the multiplies won't be any bigger. Um, so yeah. It's really, it's really just about Regal. I mean, there's other good ones, right? But uh, Regal is who you want to carry. Yeah, at least Macho's a different style. Uh, KO with, uh, whatchamacallit plate. Uh, badge, but that has trouble on turn one. So, yeah. At least Macho is a different style. You are correct. Uh, so how would Run Run one? Bleh. What about Regal with both gears? Enjoy. Hi, Rusty. How are you? So this crappy stun immunity... Mm, yeah, McLovin, that would do it. This crappy stun immunity and Fury 2 and a Piper Plate. Yeah, Ben. I feel, I think, pretty sure this will one shot. <laughs> Thanks, Evo, for the PSA. Yeah, where are the battle toads at? Uh so this is all ready to go right away, so you don't need to do any match. Um this should do like approximately a billion. A little more. Yep, D Meyer. Um very important how you set the gems, okay? So the only way this works, if you haven't played Regal this way, is you need two separate row breaks. Because uh, if for anyone that played Magic the Gathering, you'll understand this. Essentially, moves and how they're executed, Juggernaut gems, uh, row breaks, they go on the stack. Uh, and you'll know what I mean when I say stack if you played Magic the Gathering. So it works um, top to bottom. So the top row goes off first, and then the bottom row. So if you make two separate row breaks, the multiply gems go off first, and then the make them yellow goes off second. If you combine them into a wild card, it won't work. So you want to do two row breaks. Yes, Ben, there's going to be a moment. So this does like 60 million with my crappy strap. I heard stack. Mm. <laughs> hey, Rusty. Rusty knows what I mean. Um, There you go, Ben. There's also 50% gem defense. So yeah, that will probably... Yeah, restep. That'll probably one-shot the boss or very close, uh, to be honest. I'll just leave the moment up for a while. Yeah, Phil. And then, like I said, uh, pinned at the top is the forum. Like, th literally, uh, you guys have heard it before. It's the truth, though. Like... The best way to get any kind of change is constructive feedback on the forum. That's why it's there. And so, <clears throat> I don't know because I never bothered. So this would be a question more for those people that like uh, min-maxing. I don't play Regal anymore. Now, <clears throat> it's possible the Cody plate may work. But I don't know. Does anyone know if the Nightmare Plate actually buffs since the multis go off first? 
Uh, child, the MLC isn't over. How would I know that? Also, yeah, I do uh, agree with them because they said it's part of the contest design. So they would know how their contest points were doled out. If you've played this game long enough, you know that some MLCs are harder than others to max. If you've played long enough, you remember when 500 people got the chase. Shouldn't work, but might emboss. Good shout, Ben. Yeah, I didn't think it would. So the other thing you could do, and this is a real mystery, and my faction mentioned this, you could run this move instead with a Hunter's Medallion. Yeah, he doesn't need it, Evo, exactly. So you could run this move either way. So if, if it's funky for you, you can also do this. Mm, I think I understand what you're asking, Ben. Uh, and yes. So, Theory Brute. I, even if, even if I work for Scopely? Yeah, Evo, it does. It's not my flavor, but you could also do this and then break the multis first, since you don't have to worry about cascade, cascading, and then, um, hit it again and hit the bottom row. So, it, since... Uh, mm, I don't know how to say this. Um, so you could still do that, but I prefer the way I just showed you. It, it's faster animations, works better for me. I'm going to trigger some people. As long, since people keep talking about it, I'm going to trigger some people. Uh, I don't think anyone is owed maxing the MLC. I don't think it's necessarily good for the game for ten to 20,000 people to max the MLC. I'm not saying you should have to spend, because I don't necessarily think you should have to spend. Um, yes, Ben and Boss it would, because you don't have to worry about um, swapping, you know? So, like, the this is the truth here. The truth is the chase is so easy for a lot of people to get most of the time that it literally means nothing. Also, the free card is often just as good or better lately. So, I mean, like, if if they made, let's say, let's say they made the chase harder to get and then they made the chases better, I'd be down for that, to be honest. Uh, in price comparison, even if you have to spend a little, it's significantly cheaper than a weekend. And like I said, the free ones are amazing. So, unpopular opinion. I don't think it's really that big a deal, and I don't think like 30,000, 20,000, 15,000 people should max the MLC that make it that easy, right? I'm not saying it needs to be ridiculously hard either. I'm not saying I have nothing to do with balance. The MLC isn't over. I don't know. Also, the only way if you were hired by Scopely where you would affect that would be as if you were the person designing the contest. So they could, they'd have to promote me to, to the one point specifically to that part of the job, and that doesn't sound like it would be fun. Why should they announce it, Madness? Why? Why are you owed that? I mean, you log in and you play the game, and it's really not anyone's fault if you freak out about it other than yourself. That's how I look at it. If you're not having fun, you just don't play the game. I would try to make a fun product and hope people had fun, but I wouldn't chase them. I worked customer service for a long time. A long time. A very long time. And uh, I don't uh, think the customer's always right, nor do I care about entertaining them all the way. So I would make a fun game and hope people played it. And if they didn't like it, I wouldn't chase them, right? Like, I would take feedback, but I wouldn't let it affect the, my thoughts for the game. Where are the MLC points? I seem to have enough. I'll max tomorrow. Not <laughs> Uh Yeah, they are, Shicer. So, like I said, unpopular opinion. Uh, but since everyone wants to talk about it. Uh, Issa, this is, this is the best setup for boss for Regal in my opinion, um, except for if you have gears and that sort of thing. 
Yeah, so the other thing too is is people get really entitled to a certain way of doing things, and then if it's different, they get mad. I don't think I'm entitled to every character. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'm entitled to max every event, so... Uh, yeah, it would be an option, so... I d have not maxed every event, no sir. <laughs> I didn't max feud. Uh, I was on vacation, so I was like 20 million short. But I think this is the, the best setup for him for boss unless you have gears. Yeah, over, yeah, Evo. Like, so in general, uh, then it only goes off once if you don't have Striker Drew. It's still going to hit really hard, but uh, you only get the Pyro Plate once, so, you know, like half the damage, basically, right? The last time I missed the chase was Sasha Banks. And then I changed factions shortly after that because I didn't max because the faction I was in didn't finish their stuff. I love Rizar. I would highly recommend watching my preview video on him. I think he's great. If you have Roxanne. If you don't have Roxanne, not quite so good. Uh, but even if you don't have Roxanne, you could still run him with a Braid and a Lion's Gaze if you have that. A little bit slower. Uh, still good. So he has options. Yes, Rizar will be better than Braun on my roster. Restate. No question. But Rosar is really good. Um, Nikki Cross is okay. Not great. Oh, uh, Elvis. That's part of what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've, I've not, I'm, I don't even worry about MLC, right? Like, like, it just is what it is. Like, it's super easy to max. Like, if you're in a, top 10 faction a roster this size i i would max without spending likely you know what i mean like so yeah yeah i think sonya is better without 99 mp as well then what's that oh you link it don jay oh don jay you're being a sweetheart today thank you so much i like really appreciate it <clears throat> but yeah rosar is super good uh, yeah, Lady Ultimate straps are really hard to get. No arguing there. Oh, yeah, she's a she's a useful coach child, and she's solid striker. So, yeah. Uh, so, Sonia, are we talking post-99 MP? So, Regal is just going to make it easy. I don't have Twitch app if you have the right setup. Um... Regal just makes it easy. Yes, okay. Uh, so I'm wondering, though, what your point is. Elvis, what is your point? I understand that. If sometimes an MLC is difficult to max and sometimes people can't max it, I don't really see, to me... Like I said, I didn't want to talk about it because I can't change it. But I don't really see like it's why it's such a big deal. Obviously, they decided to give less points out this month. Just like the Rhea month, there was way too many points. You know? So, some uh, not every month is the same. Nowhere is it written that every month there will be the exact same amount of MLC points to gain. Some MLCs are very, very hard. Who is the one, like... I want to say it was like six months seven months somewhere in that range i'm terrible with time there was a chase that was extremely hard to get really i don't see it as how it's a big deal yeah i don't think everyone is entitled to max every mlc i don't think it's a big deal d low is hard's gone 
I think you're right. I didn't shard recruit D'Lo. That sounds accurate. I did not shard recruit D'Lo. I'm pretty sure my D'Lo has hollow stars, and then I'll know. I don't think I was able to hit the 5k shard. Uh... Yeah, D'Lo would have been hard. I also don't think I hit Nikita either. Powerhouse KO Magic Man. That may, I, that sounds right. I remember Orton was very hard. Striker Orton was very, very hard. So, Evo, uh, I can tell you probably why you have a lot. Uh, and that's because the side nodes. Yeah, Nikita, I didn't get either. So, yeah. See, if you look at this, uh, da, da, da. and this is why you probably aren't affected, Evo. I, I have less points than normal, by the way, but it's almost all in the side node. So like today's, for example, there's 20K. That's a significant portion, and that's locked behind Jade. And Jimmy Uso, I didn't even bother doing the last couple of his yet, but yeah. The Friday ends ones are the hard ones. Yeah, so you, you, uh, I think they had, um, yes, I have less points than normal. I don't think that's a problem, though. Like I said, it, not every chase is always the same, nor is it written anywhere that I'm entitled to maxing the MLC every time. In fact, I think that's dumb. But, you know, what do I know? Uh, Powerhouse Austin was, yes, I think, Don J. I think so was one of the Dudleys, yeah? And maybe CM Punk? So, yeah. I think a lot of people are, are um, less points than normal, but, yeah. Yeah, that too, Evo. That plays a part in it too. A lot of people ignore redeeming their blitz tickets too because they don't think they have to. I know a lot of people said, I didn't even bother doing my blitzes or turning blitz tickets in. We already talked about this, Piper. Uh, it was banks years ago, but why does that matter? It doesn't change my opinion on anything. It also doesn't change the fact that nothing I say matters and I can't do anything. And it also doesn't change the fact that I said I didn't want to talk about it and people wouldn't like my stance on it. But since people continue to want to talk about it, I'll hit them with truth. Or my truth, anyway. I don't think anyone in this chat, or me, is entitled to maxing any contest. I play a lot of other games, and I don't expect to max them. I don't think I'm entitled to maxing. I would prefer if events took work to max over money. Um, because then it means something. So like, uh, here's a great example. And I've said this a few times. Austin, I feuded for and earned. I didn't buy. Right? Feuded for and earned. So he means a lot to me uh, as a card. I like him. He means a lot. I went through work to get him. It wasn't fun because uh, I don't like playing only sleeping three hours but i didn't want to spend money but then it also means something because i had to work for it so that's what how i like it uh waller i got for free couldn't care less about him right like it means nothing uh sammy i spent for means nothing but i have i have i have sentiment attached to austin because i worked for it um just like acro roman who i feuded for That makes no sense to me. It's a trust issue. Will be harder for people to invest in daily, weekly events next month. So if you don't play an event, that's just stupid. 
If you don't play an event, if you don't work on your roster, uh, it only if you finish super high up in Feud Child, right? Uh, super high up, like top. I think I finished. I don't know what I finished for Austin. Maybe fifteenth or something. So. But it's always worth playing. If you don't think it's worth it, then uh, I'm not surprised if you miss something. So the thing is, though, you people don't realize this, and I've said this all the time. I say this all the time. Uh, I don't know, to uh, restate. I say this literally all the time. If you're not having fun, don't play the game. If you're not having fun, don't spend. If you don't like the contest, don't spend. It's an easy solution. Literally, what you guys fail to understand is they sell digital goods. They only make money if you purchase them. If you don't purchase things, prices get better. Shane Zady, I would challenge you to find somebody who has criticized Scopely more than me. That's a content creator and publicly criticize Scopely, including on their official channel. If you think I'm a Scopely shill, you don't know me at all. <laughs> I don't think, like, this game, uh, so many people have the, and this is including spenders. No, it's not Cable. I'm actually not mad. Uh, this is including spenders. Tons of people have entitlement in this game. Like, literally? They they can't really do stretch events. Do you know why? Because milestones that say this, people still think they're entitled to. And they get mad if they can't max it. So if they put out an event that you can't grind, that only five people can grind, yes, uh, Evo, uh, you don't actually own anything unless it's an NFT or a Web3 game. So you don't even own your roster. Uh, but, like, people freak out about grind events that they can't max. But I'd much rather have a grind event that only a couple people could max and then have something to try to max than not. Yeah, I like, I just tell you what I think. So I, you might not be how it, aware how it works, like, but Scopely doesn't pay me. Content creators do get some stuff, but it is not worth the time you put into it nor is it worth the effort. You have to do it because you like it. Legitimately, you have to do it because you like it. And usually, yeah, I agree, Evo. Usually I like helping people get better at the game and understand the game. So if you're having issues with the way the game works, like if there's not enough MLC points, what does getting mad do? Like, it just makes me not want to play the game. It makes me not want to do videos. If you may have noticed, I didn't stream on my own channel all last week at all, not one time, and haven't streamed much this month because people have been super pissy pants this whole month, and it's not fun. I don't want to stream and listen to this. Like, today it makes me not even want to stream. I just get sick of it. Hmm. So when did I uh, lick Scopely's boot, Elvis? Please enlighten me. It's fine to be disappointed, but basically what's happened is everybody pisses and moans and complains, and they all just feed on each other. I'm just waiting for Elvis to let me know when I licked uh, Scopely's boots. I, I would love a specific example. No, 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 Evo. I want him to be able to talk. I mean, if you're going to say something stupid, you should have to back it up somehow, right? Like, not just be able to lay it out there. What's your in-game name, Elvis? I'd love to look you up on the portal and see what kind of roster you got, by the way. You're also entitled? A lot of people are super entitled, bro. Why do you think you deserve to max an event?
as big as yours. Oh, so now the problem is the size of my roster? That's the problem? I like Scopely's boots because of the size of my roster. Right, Piper. The problem is, is no, they're not looking for answers here, Piper. There isn't hardly a person in the chat. Literally, there's hardly a person in the chat looking for answers. They just want a bunch of people to rant with them. For my bias takes? What, what bias take is that? In fact, most of the time I talk about the free ones being better than the paid. What's your point about 10 mil roster? Like, your roster size means nothing. I don't have solutions. I already said I can't change it in the title. <laughs> Literally, that's what the forum is for. That's not what this is for. Oh, I disagree. No, this is the community that's nurtured because people complain and it gets fed because everyone else complains because one person complains and then everyone else loves to piss and moan. So, How can you know that it's not a deliberate decision to make the NLC, MLC more difficult? There's no way you can know that. You cannot know that they didn't intend this MLC to be hard. Like, there's no way you can know that. That's an assumption, unless you work for Scopely, or somebody that works for Scopely told you. Mm, Akaroska is terrible, baby ice. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, likely, whatever. I, They looked at it. So when there's a math error, don't they usually fix it? With your <laughs> Pfeiffer. I mean, like, when there's a math error, do they not normally fix it? Yeah? Uh, I don't have to deal with any heat. So if anyone thinks, like, I'm biased towards Scopely, like, they're ridiculous. Uh, I, it's so funny, like not three months ago, I got accused because I wasn't spending a lot that I hated every new release. No, they're side grades. If it's a side grade or a downgrade, I call it. So I get it both ways. If I say P superstars are crappy and not better, then I hate them. Uh, and it's just because I'm not spending as much. And then if I say they're good or if I don't actually get mad about something because, yeah, I don't think it's really that big a deal. It's it's one month. And if you don't get Rizar, it's literally not the end of the world. Like, whatever. Uh, Gunther? I probably know. I am biased to my cats, yes. But yeah, most people would rather complain than do something constructive. Because, so like today, for example, uh, what is complaining doing? Right, Destroyer, you know, tacos. I do like tacos. Well, uh, at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, don't play. <laughs> Night, yeah, Shice Rick, right? Logan Paul's very useful, baby ice. Okay. Uh, yeah, nice. I don't like most of them either. But, like, I mean... I, I don't get every character, right? And, and I don't even get close. This this month in particular has been bad for me. I'm f over 500 from Muda. Uh, the only one I got was DDP, right? I'm nowhere near Jade still. I still don't have Becky from that month. Uh, I still don't have this. You want to know a bad month? This month where these guys all came out? It took forever to get him. I still don't have Dusty. That month was super rough, right? Like, Cross I'm not close to, but yeah. 
It's just what it is. Hey, Cornetel, how are you? Can I have your, my Regal? I actually don't use him, except I'll use him for this boss to carry. Gumsy's here! I didn't think you were going to show up today, Gumsy. I was getting set to do, um, uh, BDG's roster review, because you're ahead in the queue, but I didn't think you were going to show up. Yeah, Austin was last month. Austin is really good. Nice, Elvis. I disagree, Piper. Maybe uh, what superstar isn't paywall? That's the thing. It's unleashing heal Merrick's, which is the win. Love you too, Southside. Um, what character isn't paywall? I mean, like you, you and I might have a different opinion, right? Like, if I feel like feuding, feud's not paywall. A uh, regular feud, not talking faction feud. Yeah, I think DDP is really good. To be honest, I like him a lot. No, I haven't started Ducky Schultz. We're only an hour in. Usually, I go the second half. I actually like DDP even post 99 MP, but yeah. Um, how about no the Hall of Fame one? Usually not, Phil. Correct. How are you, Lee? Yes. $45 is not expensive if the card is good uh, and you feel like spending the time as well. I didn't uh, see D-Lo. CM Punks were like 80 for 100 though, which was better than I expected for CM Punk, to be honest. That one surprised me, Piper. I have two Charlotte Gears now, by the way. Ooh, happy birthday to your wife, Lee. Enjoy. That's weird, uh, Piper. I don't understand. Oops, I don't have the right trainers on. How you get the gear? Very easily. There, There's always one in the faction shop. It helps if you have your trainers on, though. Uh, nope, your new road tour is Thursday or Friday. Did I say it was free? I just said it wasn't, like, that's not necessarily paywalled. Like... In a game, like any game that's going to make its money on releasing new cards, they always cost money in some way, shape, or form, right? So that, um, but where Charlotte's Gears are here, like $45 is completely acceptable to me for a new card. I'm just not paying three or 400. Yes, broken. I ran them like three times. Um, so Charlotte Gears are all in here, uh, the faction shop. I got my second one today, right there. There's always one right there every day. It rotates through the three of them. It's random. I had the 680,000 one for six days in a row. Well, I was had enough currency to get this one that finally showed up. That sounds rightish, Scon. Yeah, it actually doesn't take long to get. Um, you get more than a hundred thousand a week from your faction stuff, so it doesn't take that long. Yeah, midweek contest, right there. Nice. I did not get them. I didn't think there'd ever be a reason I would use Charlotte. So I'm uh, paying for it a little bit now. I had none when the rework happened. Did you really broken? That's awesome. I bought a lot of stuff I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have bought in hindsight had I known. Dude, that's awesome. It's 
so easy though. That's like an easy 20 million and that's only two gears. <clears throat> I've hit 24 with this setup with two gears. I ran it like 10 times today. So easy, so fast. Just really good. Really, really good. I don't have a lady that fast, period. So. Uh, without any crazy trainers? Um, how would I run her? Yes, it's a 20 mil broken. So if you have all the gears, do you have brawn? Do you have 17k Santa? Either or. Nope and nope. Um, so if you don't have brawn and you don't have, yeah, I did. Um, if you don't have brawn, you don't have 17k Santa, you're stuck using Kofi still. You have Matt? No. I'm assuming you have at least one person that adds multiply gems of strength one. Doesn't matter, but you have Lex at the least. Do you have Gunther? Oh, yeah, yeah. Showboat scene is better. That's a good shout. Uh, move charge. Showboat scene is a much better shout. Use Showboat Cena, because at least that'll help your yellows. Yes, correct. Showboat Cena for sure. Because her gears buff the yellows too, so definitely show about Cena. It's here somewhere. Any they add Piper Piper plate. I'm not using Piper plate on this one. What's up, Elp? Um any of the one multiplies is fine, so like Lex if you don't have Matt. And then if you don't have Mem, um, there's a few things you can do. You can go yellow flats um, and hope you hit yellows. Uh, you could also do starting board stuff too. But for this purpose, we'll probably do this. If you have it, this obviously helps. Uh, I'm definitely not famous. The Nightmare Plate helps. It buffs the yellows a little bit. This was just on some prize walls. I don't know how I was able to pick from like four different ones. I don't know how uh, a normal roster or free roster ended up. Um, but I, I know there a lot of people got a bunch of these plates on that particular prize wall. I think I got four or five of the six. But I think most people could at least get one or two if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there though. Uh, nightmare plate. Well, you go watch the video I did because I do it without any plates. Nightmare is sort of good, but not great because it really depends how many yellow gems you hit. Um, when you hit yellow gems, it helps. But the video I did is much. We'll we'll cover it because I, I, I'm on my account. I'm not going to remove plates and stuff. <laughs> right on, help. Uh, Grayson's good. But I don't, what are you asking specifically if he'll be good for? But yeah, Grayson's really good. Regardless of what you have, he just gets better if you have better stuff like most things. They were super cheap. I don't have a strap equipped to Balor, Evo. I mean, you're probably going to hit between 10 and 12 mil, most likely, if you don't have crazy stuff. And then as you get nicer stuff, it hits harder. So, I mean, it just depends. It's all relative, though, child, right? Because, like, if you don't have good stuff, um, then then it's relative. Uh, same entourage as... Well, it depends on the build. But I don't have gears for my Grayson, so... So Charlotte is going to need max levels and stars filled. I have a 50 on my Charlotte, 50% gem. She got regals. Anybody that uses multiplies does very, like, stars filled and max levels make a huge, huge difference. Move damage, it doesn't matter uh, at all. 
Um, and then like hybrid ones, it doesn't matter very much. But if they're doing straight multiply gem damage, the, that's what makes the biggest difference for max levels and full stars. I don't, if I'm not doing a gem damage build, I don't fill their stars. So anyone you see on mine, unless I pulled them six star, uh, if they're doing a gem damage build, they're full stars. If you see them hollow, then I'm not doing a gem damage build, right? Um, so yeah. Like, I don't do a gem damage build on her, so the stars aren't filled. But if you see full stars, they're definitely gem builds. Or I don't use them if they're hollow stars. But I don't, I don't fill, like, you know. Yeah, regal stars are filled, but that's not really necessary. I, if I had to do over, I probably wouldn't. But I hoard my star fill frags. It, it, yeah, broken. I never know if you're serious or trolling me. Do you really want to see him? Like, if you seriously want to see him, not good. Noah Foley needs gears, and I don't have them. Do you actually want to see him broken? Like, run him like for real? I, because I don't, I don't know. That's the problem. You troll me so much, I never know when you're serious. Oh yeah, then sure. It depends, uh, Elp. It really, really depends. So to me, and I said this in my my preview, it, it, most everything depends on what you have. No, I don't have any proteges. Um, it really, really depends on what you have and, and how you want to run and what you're comparing them to. Uh, child, Devon, probably, yeah, assuming you have, you can either run a move damage setup if you, or you can run gem, but move damage is going to be the one that takes the least amount of stuff to run. But like most people to hit their top end, you need really good stuff. Right? Triple purple against showboats is fine. You, you have to stick to showboats with triple purple without crazy stuff. Post 99 MP. Santa, so that it starts loaded. Broken. Santa, so it starts loaded. Yes, footers. Absolutely. The only thing you have to watch out for is this kind of thing is a problem right here will can can f you up this is the last thing you want to see so you kind of you might have to get creative sometimes uh when you see something like this in the middle it's absolutely the worst thing you can see because if you make it a solid wild card it doesn't work for boss no you just have to run them a different way this is just the the most easiest guaranteed way if that makes sense that was horrible grammar if you make it a wild card you're done so you can't do that so like in this case i would just lose the one column um so you can run it a row up. Yes, you can also run it a row up or you can lose one column either or. Doesn't really matter. I don't really care right now because I'm just talking. That's still 48 million. So that would hit for... Let me try and remember my math again. That would probably still be like 900 million in boss like that still be like 900 million in boss like that yeah very close to a bill like yeah steiner math 100 percent. yeah uh it, it just it, the way boss works so i mean like and often people since cody's multiplies uh that's a really good question restate i run i run the triple h plate because it's two turns um, because if you swipe, you lose a turn, uh, right? So I have, n that's no gears, Elvis. That's no gears. 
I don't, I don't, gears, I don't, I don't really have a lot of gears. The, they're usually out of my price range, to be honest. Most of the things I have, I get when I, like, double down on something. Mm, gears are usually out of my price range. Plates, I usually get, like, I don't have a ton of ultimate plates unless it, things really lined up. I only have one drip plate, for example, Elvis, eh. So a lot of times people with my size roster have way more drip plates. And I think I got mine the same time I got Sammy and I feuded for Sammy. So I think I got mine for like $70 and Sammy. So it was a two for one deal. Um, this lasts two turns, so it always works. The Nightmare Plate, I've never used on Cody. I, I've, let me look at it real quick. What if, the, if it's one turn, when you swipe, you're going to lose the buff. Yeah, you're going to lose the buff. No, it shouldn't on, on Regal Broken. A Nightmare Plate shouldn't. But it might for boss because some stuff doesn't work well in boss. You only have one as well, uh, Ben. You know like how how uh, plates work on subs sometimes in boss? Uh, or th they don't. They do work on a sub in boss, like a sub that generates blast gets the Titan Plate to work. So yeah. So, no, it shouldn't, but it's boss, so who knows. Uh, Zombie Bianca is really good, but again, it, it all boils down to what you have, right? Like, if you don't have Apollo, Zombie Bianca is going to take a couple turns and you're going to get hit, so you probably might have a better option. Oh, 100%. 100 plates way better on Cody, in my opinion, but Ben, for sure. That's the one to put on Cody if you have it. Yeah, drip plate was really expensive most of the time. There were a couple times you could get straight up a drip for a hundred ish, assuming a great, uh, assuming you had a decent roster and stuff. I just didn't buy them. I didn't want them. So, uh, zombie lady would be great for the free or chase, obviously. Ah, uh, pro probably out. They want to, or said they've wanted to. I'm assuming they probably still do. I'm just hard to nail down. I don't like committing to stuff because if I don't show up, then I feel like I let somebody down. I've kind of, I kind of explained that to them too. Yeah, IK. I think I spent. I, it was either like it was somewhere between forty and seventy, and I got Sammy and the drip. If you have a Veer, you can you can easily win with uh, Bianca. Uh, you'll never really lose. Uh, probably Evo. Probably. Yeah, sometimes Elvis it works out. Not always. But sometimes. Also, sometimes it depends on your faction, right? Like, if your faction finishes, like, top 10, you get a bag. I got the Brutus plate from a bag. It cost me zero dollars. So, sometimes things also work out. Uh, Z plate is good, Marlo, but the Hunter plate is better. It's fifty percent more gem damage, which on a multiply gem is pretty good. So, what is the big? This is the biggest thing I've wailed out for on my roster. Actual straight up spending was Bray. That's the most I spent on one particular thing. Rocky event is the most I spent. I'm. I have a really big roster, but I don't think I spend as much as people think I spend. But, you know, it's still a lot over time. A lot. And I try to get good bang for my buck when I do spend, uh, if that makes sense. So, like, Ali, New Ali, you could get New Ali in the moment for right around $110. So, you got the moment and Ali, and it was $110. And, yes, that's a lot of money, but it's also not terrible. You got Bray for 100 Did you pull him and get lucky? I'm assuming then. Hall of Fame Triple H. I mean, you would use his plate and you would use a pyro plate. That's the only way you're going to hit harder. You use this way and his plate and a pyro plate. Hey, Bob, how are you, Ben? Yeah, uh, so Bray. There was a particular specific offers that if you bought the right offers, you were going to guaranteed basically recruit him. Broken, when we were talking about it, what was it? I think it was between three and 400, depending on your RNG. 
You got a headache, Bob? I'm sorry. Those aren't fun. Hall of Fame Triple H is really good with the right stuff. He's probably one of the most underrated uh, powerhouses in the game. If you got a, a, a pyro plate on him and you got his plate, he hits ridiculously hard. Literally probably one of the most underrated powerhouses in the game. Uh, there's a chance, of course, you can cascade because it's a row break, but he hits super hard. Correct, Evo. <laughs> yeah, without luck, most superstars, you, the, the people that get most characters, most of them, not counting like if you feud for a high rank or stuff, most weekend superstars are like three to four hundred dollars, typically. There's some variances in there. But yeah, I don't even have the right stuff on Triple H, so he's not going to hit hard. I mean, the gameplay loop is, is very easy, though. You put these out on the bottom row, you set a row break to break them, and then you turn all the reinforces yellow. Literally, it's this move, bottom row, this move, row break, and then this move. The gameplay loop is super easy, but he's not set up right now. Shobo KO is very, very good. Very good. That's awesome, McLovin. That's a heck of a one. Yeah, I don't even try on those Ducky Schultz, so... CM Punk, I just, I wasn't even going to try. Jade, I didn't even try. Uh, yeah, Shysrick, pretty similar. Yeah, per pretty similar. Um, there's a few, uh, yeah, Hall of Fame Ray can hit super hard with one gear, Ben. Jade can hit really hard, no question. Jade can hit really hard. Double K KO, <laughs> shut up, one true. Uh, Shobo KO, I just run triple red with the uh, bracers and um, badge if you want to hit maximum. 11 pull? Nice. Congrats. Uh, so, Gumsy, are you still here? It's I, I really want to start the roster review because I didn't get to do it la roster dive because I didn't get to last week, and it's literally my favorite thing I do on Tuesdays. I feel like it actually helps people. Uh, Cody is still super good. So the only downside to Cody, I actually don't. Okay. So BG, I will do you next week. That, that phrasing, uh, Gumsy is here. So I will do him, but, uh, just let me know what updates, if anything, between next week, Gumsy, are we still accurate with your stuff? Um, Waller is one of the best Waller and Seth are probably the two best spots. Mutant Seth for the gremlin plate that I can think of right off. Nikki cross is also very good um if you're running sub builds i'm not a big sub build guy uh so i'm biased against them i definitely um that's a good spot too El. i'm definitely biased against sub setups i don't like them very much priest is another good spot absolutely uh and that's probably my biggest personal bias for feud i actually and this will be very unpopular cannot stand becky triple black hits super hard i won't feud with it absolutely hate it it hits super hard but i cannot stand it it just is too random for me i i know it, it so that's straight up a bias there's some new people and some been upgraded most are the same okay gumsy so if you haven't been here on a tuesday i would uh encourage you to hang out for this because this is actually really fun and i think it's useful and i think people can learn a lot which is what i prefer to do on tuesdays over the last two weeks of train wrecks on Tuesdays. You know what I mean? Um, so, but yeah, tech Cody, I actually, this is going to probably trigger people. Uh, so my big problem with tech Cody is you can, you can cascade, right? So this is a qualifier, but if you have a judgment day plate, he's way better than CM Punk. This is just my opinion. Train wreck Tuesdays. That is catchy. You're right. Um, because then when you cascade, they just, all they do is swipe and then it's your turn. No, no harm, no foul. You win right away. CM Punk, when you cascade, you're SOL. Uh, because you're also one MP short usually. So then you have to swipe twice, plus they hit the board and blow it up. He does. Yeah. Tech, uh, Judgment Day plate helps. You don't need it. But um, my Cody, I think, I want to say he usually hits like 30 millish in feud. I did get his gear. Uh, cause it was not very expensive, uh, like at all during Christmas, boy, it's ugly. Um, so I have his gear that adds a couple more multiplies, not a ton. 
I usually don't even use him with his prime setup because uh, multiply people are... What's the word? So my favorite tech, though, is Kaiser with Drip. That's literally the best place for a Drip in the entire game, in my opinion, Kaiser with a Drip, because most techs have some kind of issue one way or another. Kaiser Drip doesn't. He can't cascade. He wins every time. He's just ridiculous, and he's fast. So that's actually my favorite tech. Um, and then Rock would be second. Yeah. I feel I I don't have Zorton yet, Ben, but yeah. He I do okay with him. I actually don't cascade a lot. Uh for what it is. First but it's a five match you swipe into, which is better than a five match and a three swipe for sure. Because you do have a room for to cascade three and you're still good. Okay. Uh so Gumsy he said feud builds would be good and with the crappy plates I have. Also, if anyone should be worked on ASAP. But yeah, if you guys haven't dude uh so you could evo yes i also like him with a jd plate just in case uh yes sonia is way better uh with 99 mp i think somebody asked i like finisher red red uh multiply gems cross breaks finisher i forgot to answer she's really good too marlo absolutely the only reason i would slightly disagree and this isn't a bad Thanks, Lee. Take care. This isn't a bad thing. It's just because there's so many good Lady Tricksters, and Tech is a harder spot to fill to me than Lady Tricksters. But that's the only reason. Right on, Peck. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Um. Okay. Let me get Gumsy's pulled up. I think. Do I still have my right? Yeah, here we go. This should hopefully be sized okay. Um should be nothing okay how does this show up yeah okay so these are we're gonna start with gumsy's plates uh also peck did i say hi i'm doing well peck if i didn't say hi how are you how are you buddy um also i feel like calling you al pacino every time i see your name Al. i feel like calling you al pacino so he's got some chains of colossus uh bulldog bracer uh z plate oh i see you got roxanne that's nice uh z plate to work with you also got hall of fame kurt uh oh nightmare plate not in use okay it's a very good plate i only has one ooh, hogan plate i like seeing this um titan plate another z plate okay you got some good stuff you have two hogan plates oh this mother effer um there we go on uh, Regal. Also a good spot for it because you can hit the green move. Another blast. You got a Sheik on. Well, that's the right spot on Anvil. No, no arguments there. You got the Taker Ultimate. Nice. That's a good one. The badge. How are you liking Shobo Kale with that setup, by the way? Is he doing enough for you? And then the Pyro on Regal. So you got some good stuff to work with. Gumsy always trolls me if you don't know about drip plate builds because he doesn't have one but he does have some very good stuff to work with like uh so i was not sure what to expect when i saw his plates uh but he's got good stuff without having like super super like ridiculous whaley stuff so i think this should be a good balance one plate wise uh gumsy where should we start should we start with the the top in text or should we start with showbo or uh, who's on the bottom strikers Usually I start with strikers. Also, Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. How are you, Ducky Schultz? I think I miss saying hi to you. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Shysrick, absolutely. All right, I'll start with strikers because that's what I usually do. In general, how do you feel about your strikers and who's your favorite while we pull these up? Can you guys see this okay? So Gumsy's got a 9 million roster. Uh, looking for anyone that he absolutely should work on, and then also um, feud peoples, right? Oh, you got Sherry too, my man. You you're making me feel like feel bad about the whole. You're such a troll. I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to expect, so I'm assuming you probably like Angle since he's up there. Uh, Steph is pretty good, uh, specifically targeting tricksters, which as we kind of discussed, there's a lot of good lady tricksters. I think he had one last ride, uh, but I would put it on Dexter 
as long as you have a decent strap, Oa Overtaker for sure. But you'll need to fill Dexter's star and level him up. Mm -hmm. I agree. Loomis is awesome with that plate and super fast. He does have one on Dexter? Okay, well then never mind. I did, did I miss that? That's why you guys are here. Because I'm blind. Did Gumsy say who's... Oh, Dexter he said was his favorite? Nice. Good shout. Okay. Need to fill the last star? Nice. Uh, I, That's what I was going to say if he wasn't. Do you have Ollie gear? I'm more thinking for gold. Do you have Ollie's gear by chance? Uh, or moment or both? Um, I think you made the right strikers for trainer reason, and I think she's better than Roxanne, but I don't like Roxanne. Bradshaw is worth silver for sure. He can be useful, so if you have extra, I don't disagree. No gear but moment? Okay. That's kind of in the, like, tweener spot. He can do pretty well, but I still think Dexter's probably going to be better for you, um, to be honest. Um... Oh, okay. Their size small in there. Nice. That works out. Um. One hundred eighty defense on Ali. Okay. Well, that'll get it done. Jeez. All right. Nice. As long as they don't have a big Santa. So that means you have moment for Andre, so he can hit super hard. With the multiply build. Row break, though, so row break chance of Cascade. I don't know if you're like me, but Dexter's the safest one you got here, in my opinion. Um, so, like, I don't see them anything being a feud upgrade to Dexter. Oh, thanks, Al. I appreciate it, Al Pacino. It's nice when a celebrity likes me. Really appreciate that, Al Pacino. Uh, have a good day at work. Stop in any time. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. That's... I like hearing that. Did this double down? Let's... Uh... That's high enough. The above is super high. This is useful. Yeah, your strikers seem really good to me. I do think Dexter's probably your fastest, most consistent male feuder for sure. So I don't know that anyone else is an upgrade over that speed and safety wise. Oh, Andre's multiply build. I did a video on that, but it is with the moments pretty nasty. Let me switch to my screen for a second. And I will show you. Uh, I think it's just this, right? Greens. Four by one, black. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just this. Because the moment buffs the heck out of the multiplies. And you have Sherry and it's low charge. So you can use uh, Steel, Sherry... Santa, and then like Mem, and then you add the moment the row break loads the finisher because of the matchy match, and then you know you make the multiplies all green. It hits surprisingly hard. I want to say six star bronze. Didn't I do like eleven or twelve million guys? I want to say, and maybe thirteen million, something like that. I actually have a video on it. No one really watches the moment videos usually though, so it's probably easy to miss. Um, they're some of my lowest view count stuff, but yeah, he hits like about 13 million. So as long as you're okay with, I think it was 13, uh, as long as you're okay with the row break cascade chance though, it's very fast, hits hard. Just another thing that you can have fun with <clears throat> though in general, plus he covers legend era. Uh, so it's kind of fun. Um, 
also he's really good for green multiply boss battle too just as a side note very similar to funk who's would be a blue uh multiply boss battle all right yeah i think that's probably the big ones uh our truth can go up for black finisher damage i think it's black right it's black or yellow i get them mixed up might be yellow yellow because he went with lita so i think it's yellow so our truth could go up for yellow finisher damage if you have anyone that ends up using that um can be useful sometimes but overall i'd say you're doing really solid on that yeah angle can hit super hard if you're okay with sub gameplay uh for sure if you have gears especially um i haven't tried him any other way ben so i don't know how he is anything other than sub since i got him it's been forever since i played him but i know the sub can hit super hard yep there's a pinned at the top if you don't like the mlc changes the best thing you can do is go there pinned at the top of chat seven min clips can't learn under six min i don't know what you mean will breaker <clears throat> but yeah your strikers look good dude um so i don't think there's a lot there jeez yeah very similar to like becky kind of damage probably i would say oh something about mary joke okay sorry i missed it i've seen that once a long time ago Who's your favorite powerhouse? Acom does really well. They they hit hard. Who's your go-to powerhouses? I see you got Braun up there. You got Liv. Farouk can do really well. You got Roman. Clubber, Cody. Boy, you got a lot. Ray. Ray with gear did surprisingly well for me. I got lucky on his gear, so uh Bulldog's high enough, good job. I don't love Bianca personally. Roman is a beast. Move damage wise, he's very, very good, super fast. Yeah, I really liked him. I just ran him triple black this last last feud. He hit super hard. Just triple black, so I didn't even try tricolor or weird nonsense. Liv and Braun and Roman, yeah. That makes sense. Did you get Cody gear, Gumsy? He's you got him high enough. He's worth noting with a middle line. He'll hit super hard with a Titan middle line, but he does need a middle line or plus one yellow, I think. Middle line or plus one yellow, um, with gear. I... Powerhouse Austin. Now, well, never mind. Just put a Titan on Powerhouse Austin after ninety nine MP. And uh, do you have a good gem damage strap for Austin? If not, you can three click. If you do have a good gem damage strap, you can just two click and do ridiculous amount of damage. Like Powerhouse Austin is the be all and all of powerhouses in my opinion. He's crazy. Yeah, I have a hundred percent strap for mine though. He can two click for like twenty seven million with just a Titan plate. With the two click. 60 and a Titan, yeah, you can two click. And Gumsy, if you find you're a little bit short, you can put the Sheriff's badge on him, and then those all have 200%. So let's say if you're only like two clicking for like 24 mil ish only, uh, and you so like people end up kicking out, I don't think they will. But if they do, then you can just slap a Sheriff's badge on. You're going to get another probably three mil out of that, four mil. Uh, but I don't think you'll even need to. Like, literally, <clears throat> at Powerhouse, I don't say this often, I feel like at Powerhouse, he's sort of life-changing for Feud. Like, and, and he's just so easy, and he's so hard, and he's so fast. So, and he also has a move damage setup. Like, he's got other stuff, too. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, he's super fast. I'm big on fast more than hits super hard right yeah ollie goat nice ollie goat is very good too you got the moment so i think he's just good enough 
with the moment, even after 99 MP, he'll be really good. So we'll get to him at Trickster. But yeah, Austin, definitely bring up, which I'm sure you're doing anyway. He'll be your best power for sure. I don't love Bianca. For now, yeah. At gold, everything's going to change. But for silver, Ollie is just good enough with the moment, even without 99 MP. Uh, as long as you don't get hit, Noah, that's fine. Like, it's fast is relative, too, right? So when when right now I'm talking about, like, speed-wise, as far as I can tell, no dude powerhouse will be faster than Austin that Gumsy has. So it's really comparing it relative to what, what you have. So turn two and fast is great. Like, anything that makes your 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 feud partner wait less time is fine as long as you win and you win quickly that's all that matters right what you don't want to do is get in that feud match where you're in there for like three 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 to five minutes on one match and your your line mate has finished all of his people in the time you finish one yeah Noah, he's probably your best guy you that's so like it's all relative so like when we're doing these um don't ever think because i don't talk about someone or don't say someone is good they could still be good on your roster that's why we i try and do varied ones um varied size rosters so that you can get an idea because sometimes you just don't have great options so you have to pick the best option you have so many trainers now if you get bored and have the extra hall of fame tokens like we talked about he's not a bad guy to have at hall of fame uh powerhouse you do already have taker though so if, but if you have a bunch of excess tokens he's not a bad guy to have to be honest uh, either uh leveled up but i don't see a lot you really need to work on a powerhouse so just austin mainly what's up steward hey hitman how are you guys Braun is very fast. Yes. <clears throat> Tricksters, you got Goat Ali, you got Dakota, you got Zianka. Good stuff. Um, let's see what else we got. <laughs> Bob. You Bob, you know you don't need my help. <laughs> you like I, I bet you if I looked at your roster, just upgraded, nice, Gumsy. Uh, I bet you if I looked at your roster, Bob, like, I wouldn't find anybody you don't know. Just got home from practice right on him, man. It'd be like, like, I mean, yeah, I'm going to help one of the best feuders in the game. Like, I, I don't think, I don't think anyone would argue with me that Bob's probably at least a top five feuder in the game. Most people would say higher. I would say higher. But I bet if I said Bob was a top five feuder in the game, I don't think people would argue with me. Same thing with, like, one true. So what am I going to do? Look at you guys' roster and tell you what to do? I don't think so. Yeah. That seems kind of pointless. Right? What am I going to, like, you're going to take advice from me? I don't think so. He'd rather beat 6SB with level 1, guys. Yeah. It would just be the people he has at level 1 would probably, uh, it would be the ultimate troll. Yeah, Cora up there too. Your ladies seem completely fine. Um, who you been using most? Yeah, I know, Bob. Who you been using mostly at Trick Gumsy? Who are your favorite tricks? Right on, Stuart. Good to hear. Well, not that you uh, got off late, but you know that you are off. Naka's very fun. Naka is, like, if you like trickies, tricksters, Naka is super duper fun. He's a lot of fun. I, I haven't played mine a lot because I got Bubba and I'm a big Dudley mark. And then I also got Goat Ollie and I'm a boxing mark. So I actually haven't played Nakamura as much as I want to. But he is super duper fun. How you, how, do you got him at Silver, Ben? And how are you liking him post-99? Also, Naka, like, Priest? Priest. There's a, oh, Judgment Day Priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because of the stun lock thing. I run blue, blue, purple finisher, moment of bliss plate. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, one true. Um, oh, right here, dude. So, flat out, she's my favorite trickster. For ladies. And actually, I probably enjoy playing her more than anything. It... I just like triple purple because it's so easy. You want to use Chelsea, but the tokens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's so easy. Like, even if you don't have a big move damage medal, you can still run triple purple. Like, as long as they don't have anti-stun, it's just guaranteed easy, easy, easy win. Uh, plus, if you want to do the big move damage thing, you can with the choose, you know, if you don't cascade. Um, she's easily my favorite lady trickster. One of my favorite... Uh, tricksters to play in general. Love Chelsea. Like, love Chelsea. So, obviously, Trickster Token, you already mentioned it. There's a ton of trainers at Trickster. So, Dragon for the three yellow, um, Theory for the bleed, Asuka for the move damage, Snoop move damage, um, which I'm sure you know is just tokens, right? So don't think I'm saying uh, you need to do it. Barrett for botch. Yeah, play with her. See if you like her. That's the best thing I can say. Uh, so at six-star bronze, triple purple will beat silvers all day, by the way. Uh, so you'll know if you're going to like her or not. You don't even need silver for her. Like, at all. With triple purple. Um. I don't think I use Kama's trainer really, but I think he's got a six star. Trick tokens are the devil, just saying. I feel like that pretty well covers trickster like based on what you like i mean ollie is great i i you have a ton of six star silver lady tricksters so you don't i mean you don't really need to take chelsea you know what i mean because you have a ton but um and she'll at six star bronze just destroy people so that's one you can and you don't need a filler stars or anything that's one you can keep at a low talent that helps give you an edge where she can punch up effectively uh and makes it a lot easier to win a lot of times so uh nakamura to like you know nakamura priest it'll speed both of them up if you have one you like more than the other like i feel like once you have a couple big hitters it comes down to preference on what you like yes uh that's probably what i would do too ben personally is get your trainers rounded out if you already got chelsea six star bronze you can, she's fine there but like he's got a six star training ability she does he does he does um so yeah uh ducky schultz so um basically guys a seven percent ish on move damage anything other than gem damage basically scales seven ish percent give or take but in that ballpark so if you're hitting for 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 10 million you're gonna hit for like 11 million at silver right so it almost doesn't matter whereas gem damage it literally doubles and that's the thing I, I, I say this a lot but i don't think it really sticks or sinks in for a lot of people it doesn't matter if it's a bonus move it doesn't matter um if it's move damage, but like damage per leech, they really only go up like 7% ish. It's just, it's simply minimal on anything other than gem damage. 
So most of them is the only reason you take them up is because it also doubles their health. You take them up because you want a higher roster talent because you want to get big lineups in feud, or you just want the extra health for when something does go wrong if they're not perfectly safe, basically. But yeah, most most anyone, like Ollie essentially basically doesn't hit any harder uh, at silver than he does at bronze, but I took mine six-star silver because I wanted to. Um, yeah, you know. You like the cover of their silver, to be honest. Yeah, I like the HP. I like the HP, not going to lie. A little bit of a HP, um, you know, unsavory word. It would, I would guess that would be correct, Shysrick, because it, it, if I remember right, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, six star bronze was pretty big move, six star silver was gem, but as I recall, at five star, five star gold had a big move damage uptick too, didn't it? Uh, where it, but it doesn't mean it'll necessarily follow that way. But I feel like I feel like six star gold is likely to have move stuff. But the only reason I think maybe not is because we still have lots of valid move damage guys right now. And if they uptick move damage a lot, anyone with a move damage buff would be crazy. Um, or was five star gold the end of move damage completely? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. That would have been when, ah, it made the areas bigger. Okay. So like an extra gem on the choose, bigger areas. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Again, your tricks seem really good, Gumsy. I don't see anything like any glaring problems other than tokens and get your, your trainers. Um, yeah, when a new rarity comes out, Ducky, usually spend a lot of time on them once the portal updates. Don't make moves right away. I miss Protect Gems. Dango is one of my all-time favorites. I miss Protect Gems. Gable, Dango. <sighs> okay, Acrobat's a problem for a lot of people. How are your Acrobats? How do you feel about your Acrobats? Do you have the NXT moment? Will be my first question. Second question, um, do you have her moment? Uh, third question, we haven't got there yet. Do you have Mello for Rhea? Um, yeah. No. No moment for NXT. Okay. Did you get Kyrie's moment? Mm, how do you like... Who's your, who's your favorite acrobats while we're here? Yes and yes. Okay. And then who are your favorite acrobats? And you have Mellow, so you're good. Your your lady acrobats are perfect, so they're fine. Uh, I'm a lot of people struggle with dudes, dude acrobats. So, Re and Kyrie, yeah, I figured. <laughs> uh, on the dude side, who's your favorite? Me pants. <laughs> you don't like your dude acros is what I'm picking up. Or maybe I didn't understand that right. Or it auto-corrected. Dude acros are a problem for most people. Z Hogan's your favorite? What's up, Rusty? How are you, buddy? Ooh, Resident Evil 2 remake. Good game. He's a laugh. Okay. Beam, beam. So, all right. Here's a couple things. It can be hit or miss. Uh, wait for now. I'm about to take my steamboat silver, and steamboat can still do some stuff, especially if you have sherry. Yeah, exactly, Ben. Get out of my head. Um, and you get the training ability. You'll have to fill his stars and stuff. Also, do you have HBK's moment? HBK with his moment and stuff can still do some work as well. Um, in fact, maybe better work than some of these. Without a Judgment Day plate, I don't think I would run D'Lo. Uh, because he can miss. Same thing to Tonka can Cascade. So, uh, HBK moment and stuff is kind. Yeah, 619. Granted, it was a boosted one. 
Yes, if you have the moments, HBK is surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Um, let me look, because I should probably record my own. Cena is probably who I use. Yeah, I think Dragon and... Uh, let's look at HBK real quick. Say not this moment. Do you have this moment? Mm hmm. Okay. That the three kind of helpful. Not going to lie. That kind of really helps. So, you also have Sherry. So, obviously, you can hit a bad board once in a while. Also, um, Mosh helps him, right? Is there another moment? Yes, maybe. Does he have the crazy expensive moment with uh, Sherry? Mosh was pretty big, and Sherry are pretty big for him. Which you can run both of them. So, 10, 14, 17. Uh, with the moment, that's 17. And then I would go with Santa here. Yeah, that one was crazy expensive. Does he have... I have SummerSlam. <laughs> For that one, Mike Grant, I agree with you. Um, Santa here and then Gunther. That hits very hard, for sure. Uh, go ahead and try him at 6-star bronze, and you can basically double it uh, and see how it goes. Um, but try it in feud. SummerSlam is the other HBK, which also he's very good with the multiply build. Don't have Gunther? Do you have Mem Rock? Mem is fine too. If not, then Seamus would be the one. So Gunther, Mem, and then Seamus in that order. But yeah, so give it a try in Feud. See what you hit, uh, and then you can double it. But you're going to need his levels maxed. Don't fill the star right away, but do max his levels. Trainers excite me the most, usually, Rusty. No problem, JD. No problem. Trainers usually excite me the most, Rusty, because trainers are forever. They hold up way better than anything else. Uh, and, then, and then Steamboat, too, because you have the stuff to run Steamboat. And here, actually, while I'm thinking of it, real quick, Gumsy and the people that are here, mine isn't silver yet, so he still needs work. Uh, but just so you know what I'm talking about with Steamboat, I will show you. And Well, if you don't have Sherry, the answer is always Matt. So if you don't have Sherry, then you use Matt. And then if you don't have Matt, then you use one of the Multiply guys that have one Multiply. Uh, Steamboat. No problem, Sailor Jerry. Uh, guys, is there a is there a one multiply fifty percent blue gem guy? I don't remember if we got one of those, and if so, who it is. But no, Loomis is not point of contention with me. Loomis is definitely not. Loomis is essentially the same as the gem percentage trainer, exactly the same. He wasn't always that way. Don't get me started. Is it solo for blue? So if you have solo, you would use solo before you would use the... So Matt, then solo, then the one times. Yeah, Luger's two blue MP. All right, so Steamy Boat here. This is the setup, really easy to run. Who'd you just take to silver? I'm kind of lost. 
Sorry. H. <laughs> Why did you just took. Why did you just take him to silver? Because we were talking about it. You goober. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Well, let me know how it works in feud for you. This is the other good one. Um, with this moment, obviously it helps you get plus one on your multiply. Uh, but you don't need to be in feud. Uh, gems can vary, so you could use a tiara, you could use uh, princess plate, etc. You could also use any of the Chuck Gem ultimates um, if you wanted. But also, I haven't ran this a lot, so there's a good chance I'll screw it up. <clears throat> uh, promo code for all moments to unlock would be amazing. Very good chance I'm gonna screw this up. This looks okay-ish, though. Now you put your cross breaks directly where these match up, right? And then you make your swipe. And then you blow all the multiplies. That only hit for 6 million. It doesn't look great. But my levels aren't maxed and my stars aren't filled. But that's essentially the gameplay loop. But he's not star filled and his levels aren't maxed. So it's not going to look impressive yet. He needs to be done before it's decent. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Ben. This should be a pretty decent spot. <laughs> that is really random, Rusty. I have no idea. That was 7 million. But that's how his gameplay is while I'm thinking of it. But mine isn't done yet, so don't judge him based off of that. Also, I think it's just a 40% gem damage strap. I don't have anything crazy at Legend. All right. Uh, back to roster. But yeah, HBK, super fast, easy. A lot of stuff there. Um, and then Steamboat. Those are both options. Let me know how HBK goes for you, Gumsy. Okay, Showboat. Who you love? You got lots of them. Who's your favorite Showboat? You're stacked. Nice, Ben. This any multiply gem feud will be good for him, obviously. Um blue is a nice bonus because it's his main. Also, I need to drink some water. I've been talking a while. Macro Dom is uh solid. He's not fast necessarily, but he, he wins. So I get it. I know Rusty really likes him too. I used to, I, he was my favorite between him, Cena, and who's the big three for a while? It was him, Cena, and who was the other one that people liked? I don't even remember who the third one is anymore. Anyway, he was my favorite of the three. I think I did a video comparing them one time. Oh no, Wesley's my favorite acro, except for with moment. Um, Warrior, thanks, King. That was the other one. Wesley is easily my favorite Acura, except for the new guy, uh, Muda. Assuming you have the moment. Wesley with moment is ridiculous. Hey, Momo. Hi. Hi, good boy. Come here. Come here. You can come here. Hi. Hi. Good boy. Hi. Did you get one this past uh, prize wall, Ben, when they were up? Uh, Gumsy, who are your favorite showboats, by the way? Mello, Regal, and KO. Not sold on health. Yeah. Yeah. So Ray definitely needs gear in, in the pyro plate. No question. 
that's a must have. Um, I actually find my LA Knight very disappointing. <clears throat> to be honest, hourglass. Oh, nice, Ben. Yeah, I would have taken that too. <clears throat> so my LA Knight's really disappointing. I'm not happy with him at silver. Apollo's great, but he also uses a pipe, the Piper plate, and um, his animations are a little bit slow. Regal does what Regal does. Yeah, same. I Ben, I think he needs the heart stopper and his gear. I love KO. I think KO is most people's best showboat, assuming you want to put the badge, have a big strap, and use the bracer. Yeah, I would agree, Ben. Uh, I put my heart stopper on striker Shawn Michaels, actually, and run him with the moment with the multiply set. That's fast. But I don't think, I'm not, I have a lot of strikers, so I don't need that. Women are meh, but up Jade now. Yeah, Jade, Jade, Jade or Charlotte with gears are the way to go for sure. Um, shut up, Buncher. <laughs> no one wants to hear about that, especially me. Um, yeah. B Rock, how are you, bud? Welcome in, B Rock. Oh, I can't see anything now. My cat's decided he needed to move in front of the monitor because I was wasn't paying it. Yeah, uh, I took mine off of Regal and then just because Regal hit so hard, and then just put an anti stun on Regal. There were a lot of straps uh, Regal's month that were genderless showboat for that era. So I, I picked up a 50% gem during that. That that goes on either. Oh boy. But the rest were all immunities of some kind, which is not exciting. Um <laughs> I got one good one and then like five immunities uh well four immunities and one like sorry three immunity one um one extra turn which is basically useless and then an hp one what's up bills mafia yeah coast is clear now although i thought i did pretty good without getting super mad or even very irritated it just like it it is what it is and there's not anything I can do about it. And even if I could, I don't mind when things are a little bit harder and the MLC isn't over. I agree right now, it looks like it's maybe a little too hard. But yeah, the MLC isn't over, so. And they said they looked at the points and it is the way they designed it. So if it's the way they designed it, then you just have to wait till next month. So, But again, it isn't over. Anyway, I don't want to get everyone started up again, because this is actually fun. I enjoy doing the roster stuff, and I hope you guys enjoy it too, but I actually have fun doing it, so. Oh, you okay, bud? I hope your mouth isn't getting sore again. We just had eight of his teeth pulled because he has stomatitis, and he just kind of yelped and licked his lips a little bit, so that's not a good sign. He had to have kitty mouth surgery. Does your mouth hurt? I have to get you in for a checkup again. Thousand dollars later, you know, you don't want to have to do them again. Oh, I see you, Incredible Chunks. How are you, bud? Welcome in. I may have missed it because I'm focused on the, um, on the review, so I may have missed it. Yeah, that'd be fun. Noah likes Coke. I think Rusty was the first uh, that I did, if I'm not mistaken. But I would happily do a, a comparison one. That would be fun. At some point, after it goes a while. That would be really cool. Yeah, Godfather, if you like farming, some people still do that, I guess. 
a kickoff tour for um, keys. If Godfather is useful for that, guaranteed maxing it. Uh, who's the best Roman now? I think Powerhouse is the best. Uh, Mutant Roman's very good in boss battle, but Powerhouse. Probably. Mutant Roman's super good for boss battle, though. Gotcha. So sometimes I do miss things, uh, Chunks. Is the badge better for Showboat? Uh, yeah, so Galax, it's who you need more help with, right? If your Showboats, if, 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 whichever one you're going to use more, right? If you're, if you need help at Showboat, then, and KO is your best Showboat, put it on your best guy that you use the most. You know what I mean? What's up, DJ? How are you? How was the the con thing you went to? It looked pretty fun. You guys were dressed up neat. Yeah. We talking Romans. Shield this dork. Uh yeah, I think I would say Powerhouse is the best. But if you count boss battle, then probably mute Roman because he's good all around. Showboat, I think you're pretty good on mostly. I don't think there's any is am I missing any trainers, guys? Oh, you got perfect. That lets you do a lot of stuff. Nice. It's funny. You don't have a drip, but you have NWO perfect. Much more rare than a drip. That's super funny. That cracks me up. That's that's the rarest thing on your roster, including plates, by the way. Yeah, I don't. Am I missing? Did I miss anything I show about you think, guys? I don't think we did. And then techs. Who do you love at tech? Who's your tech guy? <laughs> yeah, dude, your uh your LA night outfit was on point. Official video, nice. Hall of Fame Jim, do you have gears for Jim? I haven't leveled mine yet. I do not have gears. This is Gumsy's roster. And then Steiner. Okay. You mean you got Anvil, Cody, Steiner, Nikita, Dom. I mean, like, yeah. I don't. I yeah I have I have no gears for my anvil either. I just got him recently though, so he's still not leveled. No rush. I have I'm stacked at tech, so You're not gonna have a better lady, I'm sure. And you probably aren't gonna have a better dude than what you already got at six star silver, so if you got a drip I tell you to level Kaiser. He is actually Ben, and then the moment too. He also stacks the moment with Ali. The Ali moment? That's actually viable when you don't find a powerhouse to kill. So, yeah, if you have all that, Cowboy Bob is on point. Uh, I think she's the best lady tech. Her and Becky are kind of neck and neck, whichever you prefer, uh, AJ. Lady tech is. The weakest lady class, probably, I would say now, because you have Jade and Charlotte Gears at Showboat. Uh, so I think Lady Tech is probably the weakest lady class, and Nikita and Becky are the two best in class. Uh, Doink, yeah, if you can, if you, most people use Doink on Anvil, so you can level him up for that. I don't know if that needs gear or not. But yes, doing for that, yes. What does Theory's Trainer do? Does it add MP? I can't remember. Nah, Gunther needs the sub. You can hit hard with him uh, in one particular way, but eh, you have better male techs at this point, so... 
I don't see a reason to tell you to do that. You know? Like, you got, you got, you got your guys leveled. And these ones are right there, so I feel like you're doing fine at tech. You have new cross now. Do you have the, I didn't notice, do you have the phenomenal flow plate? If you're okay with a slight cascade risk, um, he can, he can pretty much do like, I forget how much, maybe like 30 mil with slight cascade risk if you have a move damage setup on cross. Yeah. Um, I didn't run it in my preview because cascade risk, so I ran it without cascade risk. But you can, you can hit the moves once or twice more. I think, I can't remember, with a phenomenal flow, flow plate. I think you get one more move off. And I think I was doing like 23 to 25 ish. And I think that can put you close to 30, something like that. Gumsy. So that might be worth looking into, but you already have move damage kind of covered with anvil and stuff. So Sammy's just fun. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really see a lot at tech either that you haven't already done like the chat mentioned doink as a trainer right here can be useful 75 75 that was a good shout by shysrick uh so other than that what are your thoughts so far um any other questions you want to ask anything like you feel like we might have missed that you want to go back over if there's a plate you're not using where you might want to put it, things like that. Or a plate. Ooh, I may need some help for this. So, <clears throat> Cora plate. Uh, let me go back to your roster. Where are you guys running your Cora plates? You didn't get DDP, right? Uh, Hall of Fame DDP. That's a decent ish. Uh, spot. I also like Z plate there. Anyway, but that's the decentest spot. Cora is red purple, right? Red purple countdowns. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, your priest. What color? I would say your priest. Right? Is priest purple on his stun? Definitely Seamus, if you're going to run Showboat Seamus, yeah. Seamus can do some work. Um, is Priest purple or, or red? I can't remember. Yeah. So if you're doing the stun lock thing and you like Priest, I mean, that would help a little bit there, right? Um, also, if Priest is red, How many gems does he break, uh, Gumsy? I, I've, I, mine is still five star gold. I haven't played him forever. Yours is on Shamus. Yeah, it makes sense. How many gems does he break since they're red? Because you could also throw a Hogan plate on Priest. And I thought I saw you had a Hogan plate kind of sitting around. If it breaks enough, let me look at the Hogan plate. Pretty much the board. I think Hogan plates 150% reds. Yeah? If I'm not mistaken. 200. 200% reds. I would change Priest to the Hogan plate. The Hulkamaniac. Actually. If you like using Priest and you're doing the stun lock, I feel like that would be a nice upgrade. 
I didn't see what plate you had on him. Let me look at your plates again. Maybe a Z plate or something? I don't know if I can tell. Blind. Oh, you got a. Do you need that plate for recycling? The red to purple? Or is that not needed? Because if you don't need it for recycling, throw the Hogan plate on there. Striker KO and Sonya. Right, so, are you still using Striker KO much? That's needed to recycle? Okay, then never mind. I haven't played Priest in a while. Never mind. Like Census Preview. I don't think I played him. Uh, uh, Z Bianca increases that. Mm hmm. Down again. Okay. Well, never mind if you need it to recycle. Never mind. But back to the Jade plate. Yeah, I have. I just got one recently, and I, I think, maybe I'll put it on Striker DDP, the Hall of Fame DDP. Otherwise, um, like they said, Seamus Butch. Um, those seem likely ones. Also, you can use the Hulk plate on Butch too. It's better on Butch than the Jade plate, but that is a good spot for it in Butch for sure. Um. No, the flash feuds usually set up that way, Bills Mafia. If you get to the higher uh, milestones, they have those plate bags. That's the real attraction to flash feud, to be honest. Uh, it's hit or miss on the plates you get, but there's definitely some really good ones in there. That's where a lot of people get their good plates uh, without having to spend a ton of money. I do think uh, flash feud reward-wise, those plate bags are very good. Uh, but they're obviously it's RNG based, but they don't seem to be weighted extra better or worse. Honestly, I got my Jade plate from there. This flash feed. Cody plate and boss plate. Nice. I got a Jade plate and I didn't hit the last milestone because I was on vacation. Cody plate is really good though, Ben. That's never been a cheap option yet. All heart, Hunter's Medallion, Seamus Crown. Nice, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. Titan Plate, always useful. Yeah, I think um, that's probably actually two things. That and the uh, shard bags. The specific shard bags. Uh, like, I was missing two of the three in the one. So I didn't have... Um, I didn't have... Um, Cross or CM Punk. And so I did have Nakamura, and it seems like they're pretty equal odds. So I got a decent amount of CM Punk shards, actually, and cross shards. So Flash Feud, I like the, the, the specific bags targeting people I'm missing, preferably two or more. And then I also like the plate bags. I still don't have a single rosy plate alt. That's crazy. So, but I think, yeah, I, I think those are the best things about Flash Feud, for sure, is the plate bags, to be honest. Oh, thank you. I don't know that we really helped much with the Jade Plate, Gumsy. Any other, any other questions that I cannot help with much? It doesn't seem super useful at this point, to be honest. I'm sure at some point it'll be, like, really, really good for a specific person, though. Like, I'm thinking red countdown gems that also has a red gem buff. That's when it would come in clutch, you know? Because buffs scale so much better because they're multiplicative. I think that's how you say that. I always have trouble saying that word.
Oh my gosh, Flash is terrible for the free new character unless you're four people. Which I'm not one of. <laughs> yeah, Z Bianca definitely peck. Those um zombie trainers are so good on, on countdowns and jugs. So good. I got one left to get. Still missing Orton. Well, I think we mostly got Gumsy taken care of. I'm three of this. And and you're humble. No, you're actually doing really well, I'd say, Gumsy. Um Yeah. Um End plate. What's end plate, Ducky? Oh, his plate? So Cross when 99 MP is over, if I remember right, isn't he basically going to cap around 20 to 22 mil, assuming you actually got his plate with that with that build, something like that, which people are going to kick out a 20, 22 mil-ish range. I, 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 it's been a few weeks, so I might not be remembering accurately, but I feel like even with everything, he was borderline. So... I think if you don't get the moment to go with it and have the end plate that I think you're better off going the move damage route. Yeah. And then one way has no cascade risk, does a little bit less damage. The other way has some cascade risk with the P flow. Um, but can wipe anyone's health and I think the move damage ways are the white right way to play him for sure post 99 MP. I don't know during cuz I to be honest wasn't really looking at it. But I find him pretty lackluster other than the move damage builds if that makes sense. I believe so Ben. Uh let me pull him up on the portal so I can tell you for sure you'd think i'd remember because it was only a couple weeks ago but you know memory of a goldfish phenomenal flow p flow soccer mom aj plate so the um yeah yeah gut wrench power bomb Ben, roundhouse kick, and then the overhead belly to belly. Uh, the P flow lets you reload the purple again. Right, exactly, Ben. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you do the three by two area, it refills the the one purple move that isn't full. That lets you refill it again. So you get the didn't they? The, I want to say I was hitting for like seven ish mil. So then you get another 7 mil in once or twice. Either way, when you're hitting like 22 mil, that one extra is a big deal. But it is the 3 by 2 cascade risk, which isn't terrible. But like when I was using Zombie Brian as my main feuder, I feel like I cascaded about 1 in 7 to 10 with a 3 by 2 2 3 matches on the sides are safer than the, than the 3 by 2 or 2 by 3 um i prefer the vertical one like that is though three by two i feel like is safer than two by three but not much so i think like one in one in seven one in ten cascade for me on that and i cascade more than most people so at least anecdotally i say that's the case otherwise yeah you just run the finisher and don't worry about cascade Those are kind of the options, I think. Personally, I prefer the move damage, though, uh, Ducky Schultz. But you can run a gem damage trap. Uh, because he is going to break some purple gems. Not a ton, but you could. So, eh, whatever. He's potentially better than he seems. But also, like, it depends what you have at tech. 
to be honest, and how you like to play. Does that make sense? I don't know if that was a good answer or not, but... No problem, Ducky. Anytime. Well, uh, everybody that stuck around for the, the roster dive, I appreciate it. I really enjoyed the second half of the stream. That was a lot of fun. <clears throat> First half, maybe not as much. Uh, also, a bunch of people DM me encouraging, encouraging things, so thank you everyone that did that. It's very much appreciated. Um, I think I'm going to call that a stream. Eat some food, see the wife. I uh, got to do some early work on the the mod thing I got going on, so I got a busy night. And then I'll probably, you know, play some World of Tanks or something too. Yeah, you guys too. So thanks for being on, everybody. Appreciate it. We'll do it again next Tuesday. If it's three Tuesdays in a row, um, with bad news, we're gonna have to change the name. Uh, I, I, that's the hope. Uh, thanks Sailor Jerry. That's the hope footers. Really the point of doing these is hopefully to help people, uh, understand rosters a little bit better making decisions. And because like, <clears throat> you can't just say to let somebody's better than somebody yeah, else. Be back here next Tuesday. What's that? You're not going to be here next Tuesday. I'm not? No, no fear not. I'm not going to be here next Tuesday. I think we're <laughs> on vacation then. Yeah, you're gonna be on a plane. I'm gonna be on a plane. I don't think they're gonna let you stream. That's probably true. I won't be able to stream on a plane. You could buy Wi-Fi, but yeah. Well, it looks like we'll miss out on train wreck Tuesday next week because I'm gonna be on an airplane, which I forgot about the date. Like three times now. Not that I was going, but the I told specific you date. You did. You sent me a screenshot. I did, and I told you. Yeah. That you're gonna have a week away. For some reason, I wasn't thinking that was already next week. That came up really fast. Uh, you can say Mrs. Merrick's is better than Merrick's. That would be accurate in almost every situation. Is this your page? No, I'm on the Champs channel. Okay, then I won't respond what I was going to. That's probably good, then. All right. Well played. Yeah, so not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. We'll be on, we'll be on hiatus. We'll be... Uh, Preempted by the Westminster Kennel Show next week, unless someone else decides to stream on this channel. Oh yeah. Have a good night, guys. Take it easy. And, uh, you know, if it's easy, take it twice. What?